This is the iTech Gladiator Smart Watch they sell at Walmart for forty-two dollars. That's one of the pre-installed watch faces. You get four watch faces pre-installed. One of those is customizable through the app. And then you can download one from the app. So you'll end up with five total watch faces. That you could, in that one you could swap out. You could download a different one if you don't like it. This is the one I use. This is the one that comes with out of the box. That's another one. This is the customizable one. I uploaded the image from uh, the app. And this is the one I downloaded, but they have a lot of options to download. Digital watch face, analog watch faces. The interesting thing is that they don't sell it in the electronic section. They sell it with the jewelry. So you uh, got to look where they keep the watches in the cabinet. That's where you would find this watch. <clears throat> so this is the app. Keeps track of a lot of biometrics and workout stuff. <clears throat> you guess set goals and do other things through here. These are the watch faces. These are all sections, so you go into digital, there's a whole bunch of options. And just so you'll see what it's like to download one, I'll go ahead and do that right now. So I'll download and use this one. And immediately starts uploading it. So this is going to replace the blue one that I had in there. And it automatically sets the one you downloaded as the current watch face. So anyways, <clears throat> let's see. You can adjust uh, which apps you get notifications from. I don't think I have any notifications to show you right now. So I'll turn on others and maybe an email will come in and then I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so when you're in the watch, you can, first of all, let's see, that's the on, off, the screen on and off button. This is the, uh, okay, uh, maybe I was out of, out of camera. Let's see. So that's the screen on and off. This is the return home button, the bottom one. 
swipe down for uh, settings. This is the brightness. That's a power button. This is a vibration on and off. Once you connect it to the, uh, the app on your phone, you'll be able to pull up weather. So it's 35 right now where I'm at. And it gives you a few days high and lows forecast. Mm -hmm. What's your uh, sleep sleep stuff? <clears throat> Just read your um, heart heart rate. Sport mode, go in there, you could uh, choose different activities for running, I think. Uh, this is the only one I've used so far. And it's like a timer. And it'll count your heart rate and your distance, steps, calories. We'll stop it back home. You have settings. You have an alarm. Did not hear it go off this morning and it was set. So I have to look into that. <clears throat> Stopwatch. It was set for four and it didn't go off. Music remote. Um, you can't use this while you're doing the running. So you can't activate the running, come over here and use the, uh, the, the music um, remote for your cell phone. So let me show you the music remote. Okay, you paused it. Skip to the next one. Skip to the next one. Play. Anyways, that's the remote. Not bad for 40 bucks, I think. I got a different one coming in for uh, T-Rex Amaze Fit. I mean, Amaze Fit T-Rex. So, uh, has an AMOLED display and a lot more functions than this one. But this is a nice little one to have. I'll probably just use it as a watch <laughs> instead of using it as a smartwatch. So, anyways, that's it. They say it has a long battery life, so still not sure about that yet. I'll have to use it more and then I'll know how long the battery life is. Anyways, that's it.